hello guys and welcome back so now in this video we will be uh, creating a create room menu and then when we create a room we will be join, joining that menu automatically okay so first of all let's deactivate the loading uh, menu and then uh, let's create a empty game object let's name this as create room menu okay make it stretch the whole screen then in here create empty game object now this time we can name this as uh, sub background okay or anything you want and in here uh, first let's actually give it a width and height so the width will be 600 and the height will be 400 Okay, then in here we're gonna create a UI legacy input field. Make the input field width as 500 and the height 100, or let's just make it 50. Okay, then let's zoom in a little bit, or you can actually let's zoom in, okay, so that we can see this name this as room name okay the placeholder should be changed to enter room name okay and it should be whole black okay let's make it 30 so that we can see it clearly and also if we click on then text right here make this text as 30 as well so that when we type anything its size is uh, large as well okay so once you add that after this in the sub pg let's go ahead and create a legacy button and let's name this as create room button now we can move this button down below like this and let's make it width as 500 and height as 50 okay same as our uh, text input field let's go in here make it 30 and make it bold as well if you want and this will be our create room button or actually let's name this as create room just like this and we can make it normal so now as you can see it is looking good all right let's click on this and drag and drop the menu script and in here we can say create room menu that is it after this uh, what we're gonna do when we create a room we also want to join that room okay so we will be creating a ui for that as well so let me now in the canvas create another empty game object by the name of room menu okay in the room menu we will be showing the room name and which players are in that room we're going to show that player username and then a start and leave button so that the player can start the game or either leave the game okay so in the room menu let's first of all start from the room name so i will create a ui legacy text name this as room name and change into scene view make sure that the room menu is fully stretched on the whole screen and then the room name is on the top uh, center right here just simply type room name make it uh, 50 and bold okay and let's change its width to uh, 300 by let's just say actually 900 by 300 okay and let's make its color white let's now select again top center so there it is the room name let's make it center and 
uh, we can leave this at, at the top like this okay so room name as you can see right here we can make the height 100 okay so it is looking good now make it 80 okay and 80 is a good value for this now after this we are gonna add two buttons for leaving the room and for starting the game so what I will do I will simply duplicate this create room button and drag and drop it in the room menu okay let's name this button as start game button okay and let's duplicate this and now let's name this as leave, uh, leave room button okay now in this one we're gonna say start game and in this one we're gonna say leave room okay let's move uh, actually let's move both uh, of the buttons to the bottom center right there okay and then let's move the start button up right here and the leave room button right here okay you can design this in whatever position you want but i will just allow leave this as it is so start game and leave room that is it right here we're gonna uh, show the uh, room name whenever we create a room uh, on this create room menu now drag and drop this let's name this as room menu okay after this we're gonna create one other menu and that will be our error menu so for example if there uh, is any error while connecting to a server or while creating a room or finding a room then we need a separate menu for that in order to show what is the problem okay so what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna duplicate this room menu okay enable it change its name to error menu okay and then in the room name right here this will be the error text okay let's remove one button and leave this button as it is on the bottom center okay and let's make this text let's move it right here till this point and let's make it cover the whole screen you can actually uh, press that stretch and then move it right here okay then make this to the uh, left top and make the size 35 so if there is an any error it will be showing that error like this okay as you can see For now just type no errors and right here change this to ok button and change the text in there to ok as well and on this one now we're gonna name this as error menu okay we can now close that as well so now all of our menus are set up we can enable the loading menu again and i don't want this video to be more lengthy just like our previous one so i'm gonna end this one right here and in the next one we're gonna continue our work on this one okay we will create a room show that room and if there are any errors we're gonna show that errors as well